Hi guys, and today I'm going to show you how to use the sound effector in Cinema 4D using a wave sound format. And so, uh, if you have an mp3 file, you can use uh, this switch sound file converter. It's free, I'm going to include a download link in the description if you want it. And this is song I'm going to use in the sound effector. It's I like it. and uh, it has to be WAV format, W-A-V, uh, unless the uh, sound effector won't work. So that's very important. Uh, and if you have that, then you can just open Cinema 4D. And here we are. So, uh, what you want to add is you want to add a cube. Very, uh, very easy, just a cube. Or actually, if you want, you can add a floor first. Just add a floor, and then a cube. And you want to lift, if you don't need to lift the cube up, just make it smaller. Uh, like this. And after that, you will want to add the, the cloner object over here and you want to drag a cube up to the cloner object uh, and you want to click cloner object and you want to press uh, you, can, you can use this radial or you can make grid area and I don't think I may um, but we're going to use radial now and then you're going to go down here to plane and you can do X set and then go to radius and you can just raise that until you and you can zoom out until you see the whole thing you can make like that big uh, and then you can go here at this count and you can drag it how many you want and you want uh, 38 that looks good and now if you render it it will look like this and, and, and then you want to add um, I simply you're going to go to mode breath and you want to scroll down and add the sound effector that's down here sound effector and you want to go to clone object and effectors and drag the sound effector down there and there it is, the sound effector. And the sound effector, you can go to uh, effector. And here you can see the strength, and you can see the sub file. So you want to go here, you want to press that little button over here, and this will open. And my computer is on a revision, but uh, you should find your audio file easily. And and that and make sure this is at the end of it and I'm going to press open and then you have this and if you want to hear the sound while you're playing you can press that and now if you place it you'll see it goes up and down that doesn't look really cool so what you're going to do is you're going to sound effector and um, and scroll. Yeah, gonna go to um, this apply mode. Apply mode over here, and then press stop. Now, if you play, it will look like this. But still, I can't see. I uh, I don't like it. So if you take the strength up to three hundred percent, and then press play. A lot more funnier to look at, and if you want even more, even more, you can just go to cube, the cloner object, and you can lift the whole thing up. And you want to make the cube bigger, so go to to object, or I just might just find this little point here, and and just this point here and you drag it up a bit and it just zooms out again 
and you go to cloner object and you can move it a bit down one like that and you can press play and uh, you can set it up to 200 keyframes and then you can um, for example you can press that and go to the sound effect and you can lock keyframe go to 50 and then you can erase you can lock the keyframe there makes it to about 500 percent and if you look now it would start there but you go higher and higher continue there so uh, but that's just at the 200 frames so if you want a whole long music like this a long song you have to make it up to um maybe my like my other video and that would be over 2000 frames so that's a lot but anyway that's basically the sound effector yeah. so it is actually so easy to make the sound effector but if you want you could add like a color color and I'm not gonna add a color to the change so maybe we want a green color like that and that doesn't look very good but so we add reflection 20% reflection and we add a glow that makes that gives it a little extra so I add that to the cloner object and if you render it it will now look but it still looks ugly so add a new material right here so take it for example black well looks then it would look different yeah and reflection maybe 60% that will look good you render that and then you got this and when that plays it will look like this you get that and then you can just add a single you can add the camera it starts here and you can basically basically do whatever you want you can go up to 50 Gonna like another key thing, and then you could like move it if you want it up a bit and like that. You can lock it, and you can go to maybe a hundred, drag it a bit down, and lock it there. So this is just very basic so in nothing like really cool things so it just goes up and it zooms in and so it goes on so that's basically the sound effect uh, so I hope you catch that and you just have to experience uh, all yourself yeah, this is the end of the tutorial, and if you liked it, please thumbs up, and comment, and subscribe, so this is the result, and until next time, bye.